such a great topic tonight. This is like my favorite topic ever is social media. It's my yes. money maker. So if you guys know, CB gets all of her business through social media. She is a boss at showing up when it comes to social media. And pretty much since COVID has been when I started to really focus. And y'all, I'm seeing it come to fruition. I text Stevie today like, I just got a buyer through Instagram. And I'm so excited. Like, it's it just good. makes me so hyped that like, you know, everything that you always say, like they love you as soon as, you know, they message you because they've been following you for so long. Yeah. You know, it's really funny when somebody messages you and they're like, I've been following you for a year. And you're like, oh hold God. up, Literally, like look at Peru. This woman, Crystal, she had called me today. I guess she'd been following me on uh, Facebook or we've been Facebook friends, I guess is the right term. And um, she, she just set, sent me a Facebook messenger and said, hey, I need you to call me about my house. And I had no idea who she was. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll call you. So I called her and we just had like such good conversation. We talked about her house. I booked the appointment. And this is what I wanted to mention on this call today because conversations like this is my life is like I get these calls and people are always like, I know it's weird to like message you because like they see me on LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram and they they never met me before they you know and it's like they've been following me and they feel like they know me because I show up so much that they feel weird reaching out to me and I'm like no girl don't even worry about it like yeah. I'm so used to these conversations you know what I mean but just think about you reaching out to somebody who you've been following for like over a year like it's really weird for them and you want to make them feel comfortable so I'm like oh no don't even worry about it like I love calls like this and like we just like this is what's so great about social media is like you are not going to get a call like this from Zillow realtor.com even a referral this right. woman and this is how it goes she's like i've been following you you're so successful you're such a rock star i love your personality i literally i was like oh my gosh like you just totally made made my day and like that's just the best ever oh my gosh and i just like it fires me up so much after this conversation it kind of keeps me going because it's like this job is so cutthroat and it's tough. And like, when you have like those amazing conversations like that, you're like, oh my gosh, this, this keeps me going. This is why I show up like a crazy person on social media and like putting myself out of my comfort zone, like every single day with this. It's so yeah. worth it. For sure. So let's, let's go in and let's just talk about tips. Cause I feel we have awesome content to go over and tons of great tips. Um, because I, we have like some really great success stories with it. So yeah. in the meantime, if you guys want to post questions in the chat box, we will be going over a lot of things, but if you have questions specifically, you know, yes. either write them down or put them in the chat. Once we get closer to the end, we'll open up that chat and see if we've, um, covered it or haven't covered it yet. So give us all of your awesome questions so that we can get them answered. So based off of, you know, these uh, phone calls that I get from other people, it's like they're touching base on things about me and things that they've really enjoyed about my personality. But the only way they're going to learn about that is if I show them that, if I put myself out there. So like, I just think about it all the time and just like how grateful I am for social media because it's one free and I don't like to spend money, but also that like people can just like gravitate towards my personality if they like it. And like, how awesome is that? Well, and it's one thing to work with somebody, but it's another thing to work with somebody that you relate with, right? And one of the things that you always say is that any person that you've gotten from social media, they've reached out to you. It's more than just a client. It becomes a oh, friend. Yeah. Oh, and right? because they, they tend, they know, like, and trust you already from the beginning. They feel awkward calling you and yet you know, they instantly feel connected to you. They're, they're already bought into you as a real estate agent. Right? Yeah. So I, I don't want to like touch base on like content ideas because gosh, like we have so like many I, content. Yeah, I feel like I preach about how easy content things are 
and I should not have to go over that. So, but yeah. how I feel um, that you should show up that I think is really important is anybody can show up as the professional like you all have a real estate license and you are worthy i think a lot of people get in their head and they're like i don't have enough business i don't do enough sales or i haven't even done a sale and they feel as though like i'm not worthy to show up on these platforms and come off as the professional i don't know if any of y'all feel that way but i remember i did in the beginning and i was looking at these other yeah. yeah other ever i'm sure so many of you um have felt this way and like Oh, so and so does so much and how can I compete there's so many realtors and and I just want you to know that like you are worthy you have a real estate license and I know that like all of you on here are trying to be better real estate agents and um, you are worthy to show up on these platforms so there's I feel like it is important to show up as this professional and anybody you even if you don't have sales or a lot of sales you can still show up and provide market stats to me that's a way to like show up as the professional and also like touring new construction touring resale we can all do that we can all show the inventory in the market it doesn't matter of what your sales are so that's a great great way to show up as realtor but then there's this other aspect of our life that's probably more than 50% of our life is like our real life. Like the real CV is, is so much more than just real estate. That's easy for me to show, but I, I try to show more of my personality because that's how people can connect. That's how they can resonate with you. And whenever I show things that, and it's out of my comfort zone, like it's easy for me to talk about real estate. But for me to talk about other things in my life, like people who know me here, they think it's so funny because they're like, it's so funny that you post so much on social media, but like you really don't post a lot about like your life life. And like, it's because that's like not, that's out of my comfort zone. Like me doing an Amazon haul yesterday was, or whenever it was, a couple of days ago, was totally out of my comfort zone. But it was just one of those things where I felt like I want to show up at doing something different providing value to people that i don't get anything from and that's not real estate related and i had so much good feedback from that people like thank you so much i had no idea how to set up this double screen and you just made it so easy and these other items that you suggested like is super helpful and like that just selfishly made me feel good but at the same time like i know that that essentially had helped other people so just sure. thinking of ways I have on here that I want to mention for you to think of value-based content. And even though like I was thinking, is anyone even going to like this? You know, this isn't real estate related, but I think it's important to touch base on things that aren't real estate related when it comes to social media. Um, and like, I was thinking, okay, is anyone going to benefit from this Amazon haul? Like, am I just wasting so much time like posting this? You don't know until you do it. And if you just keep doing it, and I would not have known what value that would have brought if I didn't show up and do that for other people that day. And it kind of sounds silly, but I'm trying to mention like certain things in my life that maybe you could think of examples for your life and kind of resonate with things that you could share that would be value-based content that maybe isn't always so realtor, because that's easy. That's easy to do market stats and inventory we want to show up not being salesy, but providing value. Well, again, we know that people want to work with people that they relate with, right? So like, yeah. if you're into dogs, like post about yeah. your dogs. If you're into your kids, you know, if you're into yoga, like people relate with those things, right? So like one of the things that I love to do is like focus on the three to one rule. And so like for every three real estate post, you post a personal or for every three personal, you post a real estate, right? So like, depending on the different platforms, like I'm not on my personal page, like sharing everything, like Facebook, for example, like yeah. I'm not sharing all of my, um, business content, uh, just like shared on my personal page. Right. And mm -hmm. same thing, like vice versa. So like know your audience and know what they like. Make sure that you're posting and you're providing content that's valuable to them. And sometimes by per posting personal things, you can easily tie in real estate by just throwing like a little hint of this in there. Like when buying my house and like buying like furniture and things, I was able to say like, you know, putting in like real estate or how I was able to get such a great deal on 
this item and then putting it in my home and I want it to look like, you know, a home that I sold or I know what buyers like. So I positioned it like this, right? So like you can always like throw in hints of real estate without, you know, just being like, oh my God, I'm your realtor. I'm your realtor. And just like vomiting real estate on them. Like no one wants to be sold. Like I don't want to be sold when I'm looking at other people's social media platforms. I am basically sold on their personality. If like I really like them and I can resonate with them and they show up a lot and I've really gotten to like know them. That's when like I'm like, oh she bought that? Okay, I'm gonna get that. You know, yep. when they're selling their product or their service, like you gravitate towards those type of people that you've the been person. able to resonate with. The person before you resonate oh, yeah. with the product, right? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Um, so one of the ways that I've been able to kind of take people off of social media, I am all about getting email addresses. And I think that this works if you work. So yeah, you can take an email address all day, but if you only email them once every couple months or shoot, not at all, what was the point? So what I have done that I have just become in love with is my weekly email. And so I have thousands of emails that I send out to people and every single week I'm providing a video and I use Mojo, which is the dialer, but they have basically a CRM setup and it's only $10 a month. So I got rid of Boomtown, which was, I mean, my other brokerage was paying for that, but it's like over a thousand dollars a month. It's awesome. It's amazing. It has really, really cool features. Amanda has it. But once I got on my own, it was like, all right, I'm not spending that. I like $10 a month and I saw their templates and I was like, okay, these look actually way nicer than the email templates. And um, so I, every single week I create an email template. I'm, uh, I'm plugging in a quick short video in there. I'm plugging in my social media handles, like short and sweet. Like who's gonna read a long detailed email? And it's just showing up consistently and providing items of value. And I feel like with social media, I'm so consistent. And I know that works. I know with anything that I show up and do in real estate to get business and I'm consistent, it's going to work. So now I'm doing it with my emails. Like at first, like no one was responding, but now it's like, now they know every single week to get this from me. And I keep telling people about it. Cause I'm like, do you have a weekly email? Do you have a weekly email? Because my engagement has been awesome. I'm getting, people get to see me being me. I'm doing a short video. Whereas just like a text, I feel like it's just impersonal. I'm just think about what you're reading through your email. Like, are you going to read like market stats in an email text? Probably oh, not. No. But if someone shows up and has a nice presentable template in a short, quick video, um, I think is really beneficial. And then another way for me to get email addresses, just I thought a tip I could share with you is that I tell people, hey, every single week I send an email to a couple thousands of people. Do you want to be added on that list? It's just some buyer tips. It's short, quick videos of me not salesy. I'm not going to be, but if, if, they, if I get some kind of like any uh, hesitation, then I will say, don't worry. I'm not going to be like blowing you up, calling you. It's just a once a week. And like, that's it. That's all you have to say. And they're like, yeah, sure. And I feel like that's just a way for you to get in their inbox and get in front of them, provide something of value. I'm always like attaching my home buyer guide, my seller guide for free, like to give me, I always want to give, give, give and, and provide value to other people. So I love, but the thing is, is like with both platforms, with the weekly email and the social media is, and I feel like people want like the secret sauce, but it's just showing up, just keep yeah. showing up. Awesome. Love it. One of the ways, because I love that email template that you're doing. And one of the it's things so I'm doing is, is something similar to it. Yeah. And it's using the stories and it's using the sticker that asks for the poll. And so oh, yeah. that's one of the ways that I'm getting in front of people is, hey, have you gotten my free buyer's guide? Or have you gotten my free rent versus owning guide? And like, it's never like yes or no. It's like, I've already gotten it and I love it or haven't gotten it yet, send it to me. Yeah. So yes or no. And so anybody that clicks on haven't gotten it yet, I'm responding to them through a DM. And I'm like, hey, th thanks so much for taking the poll. 
saw that you haven't gotten it, shoot me your email address and I'll get it over to you. Just keep building it up. Keep building it up and every single week, add people on there, add other realtors that maybe you need some accountability and people can be like, hey, where's your weekly email at? Yeah, like whatever then, you need to do. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, um, I was just going to say like whatever you need to do to like hold yourself accountable. And then also like I've added other realtors on mine and it, it's kind of made me want to show up even more and like, okay, I got to make this really good because like, you know, Amanda's going to see it. <laughs> right. Right. Like extra level of accountability. <laughs> yeah. But what, what makes me like keep going on it is like the engagement that I'm getting back every week and it makes me want to keep showing up. But definitely in the beginning, it's the same thing with social media or anything that you do, you have to keep, keep showing up. And this is another free way to show up and get in front of people and provide value. So I just, I feel like that's a great way. Gosh, all you have to do is message somebody on Instagram. It doesn't cost you any money. And to be like, Hey, I'm sending people a weekly email, just some buyer tips. Do you want to be added to that email? Like or send a voice memo, send an actual video. Like, Hey Kim, I'm sending out a weekly email. Do you want me to add your email on here? Like just people love when I send voice memos and they're like always so surprised. And I'm like, this is actually a lot easier for me. And they're like, like you took the time to like send a voice memo to somebody. I feel like it's just so much more personable. Yeah, I totally agree. And I think the important thing too is like being social on social media. Am I right? Like yeah. don't just post and ghost. Like if somebody's responding to your poll, like, and they're saying like, yes, I want your buyer guide, of course, respond back to them. But if they say like, I've already gotten it, I'm still sending them a message like, hey, so glad that you got it. I've made updates to it. Or what questions do you have about yeah. it? What so, questions do you have? Is there anything yeah. you need to go over? Do we need to get on a call? Do we need to set up a time in person? There's like a million questions that you could ask, but also other ways to show up on social media, I feel like is we are in a relationship based business. Like point blank. It's all about building relationships with people. So I always like messaging people, Hey, do you want to get coffee together? That's how I meet like all my friends. Honestly, I'm like, people are messaging me. Like my girlfriend, Courtney, like she always tells somebody whenever we meet somebody new, she's like, yeah, I mess. I went down in her DM or something. <laughs> <laughs> just like I feel like that's just how it is now and so like I message people people message me we're we're gravitating towards people that we are alike and that we want to surround ourselves with and I think that's like an awesome thing and it's it's not weird like even when we went out to dinner in Dallas and like these women showed up and they were like oh you know I felt so weird messaging you and I was and like everybody else was like yeah I felt weird too and like the other girl was like I felt weird but it's like, we all do it. So it's okay. Right. Well, and I think there's a difference between being genuine and authentic versus being salesy. I have 50 yes. some inbox messages about like, want to grow your following or I'm oh my God. Now, like, one DFW agent. I'm like, yeah, get out of here guy. Like, no. It's so for the story, I actually have two Texas Rangers baseball players that I'm working with. And I got them from messaging them on Instagram. It went down in the DM. It went down in the DM. And it was a cold message. Like, it wasn't like, hey, so-and-so told me to reach out to you. Like, it wasn't anything like that. Like, there's so much power in being genuine and reaching out to people just by messaging them. Like, even if they don't respond the first time, that's okay. They might not know you just yet. Yeah. You know, so don't give up on it. But there's so much power in DM messages. And like Stevie said, whether it's um, sending them a voice memo, sending them um, just a written text, you could share somebody's like if you come across, I think I shared this last week, if you come across like a super inspiring quote, like send it to somebody's DM and say oh, yeah. like, um, Dave Ramsey, like I love his and like, I'll send it to someone like, Hey, yeah. I saw this and thought of you. I know you're into wealth building just like I am. Yeah. Thought you would like this. Thought this might make your day. Like people love that. Oh, and yeah. it's genuine. Like I literally was thinking of them. Yeah, so making don't a, over like a, an Instagram story like with a quote yeah. and then like tagging like your friends on there. It's just another way to stay in front of them. Yeah, I totally agree with that. So 
Another thing too is I think people miss out on using a call to action. So don't just post for the sake of posting, right? Like don't just post to check the box that you did it. Post with an intent. Like what is the goal of this post? Whether it's a story, whether it's an actual post on your page, like what's the goal here? Do you want somebody to drop an emoji if they relate to that? Do they want, you want them to respond with, you know, their tag somebody? Do you want them to respond with their email? Um, favorite, you know, whatever. Like put a call to action in there. If you're not putting something at the end, like drop a fire emoji if you agree. Like you are missing a huge opportunity. People are just scrolling straight past it. Yeah. And just for the sake of using emojis just in the post itself, like it's gold, y'all do it. <laughs> I love it. I feel like I always get asked, like, how do you have so many followers? And I feel like everybody wants like, the here's the magic thing. But right. what's the pill, Stevie? Give me the magic <laughs> pill. I want it. What had happened was, is I have showed up every single day for the last five plus years. I freaking better have some followers. <laughs> yeah. If right? you're doing that and you don't have followers, then there's a problem. But there's nobody else that I can really think of that is as consistent. Like, I'm so consistent and I just feel like that's it but I think a great way for people to find me that's what's so great about Instagram it besides like Facebook you know it's like your friends like they know you or a random ad right but you can only have 5,000 Facebook friends and then like Snapchat is cool and all but the only people to see Snapchat are the people who follow you like they, there's no way for people to search for your content and what's so awesome about um, Instagram is hashtagging is gold and like literally my Excel spreadsheet in front of me right now is like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Like that's just where all my leads come from in the main reads. Cause I ask everybody, I'm like, how did you find me? Or people tell me, oh, I searched hashtag Richmond home. And yeah. that was a builder. And like a lot of the times people say that they're searching hashtags. So thinking about, um, keywords your ideal customer might be searching for not basic things like realtor life real estate luxury for sale just sold think about what your buyers looking for so i've been hashtagging like the builders here in jacksonville i've been tagging the there's so many different like cities and towns and neighborhoods and counties and schools and and there's like very like hyper local things like i love jacks i love 904 Duval. Uh, there's just so many like hyper local things that in Jack's real estate was one that someone found me on. Like thinking of hashtags like that, that's how people can find you. And then when you get, you got to take some time to engage with people. It's just not post and ghost. It's not just, you know, on to the next post. It's okay. Those new people who followed you, go check them out. Go yeah. look at their profile, see what they're about. Can you relate with them? Can you comment? Can you invite them to your next event? Can you invite them to coffee or invite them to a Zoom call or, or something? I just feel like that's how people have been able to find me is like from the hashtagging. I totally agree. And I think all of those ways, like, like you said, like, okay, hashtag realtor life is cool and like, I'm also trying to get, like, business, y'all. Like, it's one thing to have a whole bunch of likes and a whole bunch of followers. Y'all are great. And Bravo. I will support. But at the same, I mean, right, like, I'm trying to also get clients here, right? Like, I mean, that's what we as a community do is we hype each other up so that more likes and comments and all of that. But at the same time, we're also trying to get in front of our, our ideal client, too. Yeah. So don't also don't like pay for followers. I feel like that is such a crock of shit. Yeah, like I'm not trying I to. I just think like, what is the okay, what is the point of paying when these people aren't going to be buying houses and they're not going to be telling their friends in India about you and they're not going to be okay. Maybe there's I think there's things out there that they'll like like your posts, 
But like, what good is, is that going to do? I don't notice how many people are liking someone else's posts. I don't know right. if you guys are, but I'm not noticing that. So I feel like even if you have 200 followers, that's a lot. You've got 200 people that you could be potentially building a, a relationship with, a friendship with, and could help each other out. Like um, someone that I was talking to earlier today isn't looking for real estate. She has a business. And I was like, how could we partner up? How could we help each other out? Like, we could just see if, like, you know, maybe I could send some people your way and you could send people my way. Like, I feel like I kind of put on this persona, which is true, of, like, I want to help other women. I want to help other women who own businesses. I want to, like, lift each other up. And so she already kind of knew that. And so I feel like when I come up, like, showing up for her, she's like, oh, okay. I know she's here to help. Like, and I'm just like, what can I do to help you? And so we talked about getting on a Zoom call just to like see like my next uh, event that I do. Like, could we partner up? And like, it's just a way to build a relationship with her and uh, with her personally, whether or not she wants to buy or sell or her friends or her social media or, or whatever. It's just constantly, it's a numbers game. Just showing up for everybody, not having an agenda of like what can I get from them type thing right. just trying to provide value to as many people as possible and social media is such an easy free platform for sure so I I do have just real quick on hashtags I do have depending on like what the post is I have different hashtags related to those specific posts like if it's a uh, buying if it's a selling like I do like kind of tweak them a little bit so I just store that in my notes um, yeah. have on my phone. Like it's nothing fancy y'all, but I do use hashtag expert as the app. Mm -hmm. Um, so that might be a value to you guys. If you type in like home buying, homeowner, real estate, you know, all of that to get some of your ideas and get you going. Yeah. Also, if you type in like Google, Google is going to pop up like the most typed in. So if you put like homes for sale in, and then it's going to say like Arlington TX, Arlington, Texas, Arlington, Texas realtor. Like, so the order that, you know how like Google will start auto-populating, it populates in order of like popularity, like what people are really typing in. So use that as like a guide to help you. Um, Cause if I start typing that in like Arlington real estate and like it starts popping, populating all these different things, I'm using those hashtags cause they're showing up. Yeah. People are typing in those things. Um, Did we miss any questions? Oh my gosh, there's 20 things down here. I just looked at it. Okay, so hold on. I have a couple of things that I wanted to hit on while you look at those comments. So okay. something that I recently um, found, which is like a game changer, I feel, you can pin comments. So if you have like a couple of people that are like, like I did one um, recently, actually it was today, um, and it was a TikTok video that I posted on my Instagram reel and it was like post, uh, and it was like a uh, celebration, like little streamer thing. If you plan to buy a home in 2020, well, she did that. So I pinned that comment to the top so that anybody that looks at that, like if I have like six comments on there, people are going to see that comment automatically. I want them to see that, like that people are engaging on it. So if you go to your comments, swipe right and you can click on the pin. So like, that's important to me because I want people to like, see that people are post, like if they're following my instructions, right? Like if I put a call to action on there, they're following my call to action instructions. So I found that to be like super cool. And I want to post, I want people to see those comments on the top. Also, I noticed when I post a, um, an actual post on Instagram and I tag a location, I have higher engagement. Mm -hmm. So if I like put on there like that this photo was taken in Arlington, Texas, in Fort Worth, Texas, like even if it was just at my house, like I might do like Lake Arlington. Oh yeah. Like I noticed that my engagement is so much higher by just adding in a location. So hashtags are great. Location is great. Um, pinning those comments to the top, using a call to action. Um, I just feel like how can you not have a, honestly, like I could post so much more, but I'm like, okay, well I do post a lot. 
but I literally could post so much more and I'm like how do people say they don't have any content ideas I'm like coffee and contracts for one is like the best filler and I'm sure there's one thing that you're doing in your day even if it was for five minutes that was somewhat interesting that someone would want to see it's yeah. just like so crazy to me I think people just over analyze what it is that they're posting I know that for sure like I know well, hands down we're over analyzing but I, I just like, like post. go ahead <laughs> I feel like our internet's off like we it normally doesn't work like this <laughs> Um, I was going to say, I feel like in such a, um, like small attention world that we live in, like stories is where it's at. Stevie's told me that from day one. And so that's why I'm consistently showing up on stories and maybe posting once a week, like an actual post. And yeah. my engagement is like through the roof now. So taking that advice and you know, using that. And these are where it's at. I would never have found Amanda if she hadn't started showing up on stories yeah I was like, all of a sudden she showed up on stories i was like this girl's kind of cool <laughs> <laughs> hey girl hey and then oh, a year yeah. later, later bffs <laughs> <laughs> and uh, y'all with stories do not sleep on the highlights like if you have a highlight on your main page of like buyers and you're posting something that's kind of like just like a hint to buyers like post the highlight to your buyer's highlight on um, your, you know, actual page. Like don't sleep on the highlights. There's a lot of value to be found in there. Like if somebody's going to your page and they want to look at your stories, they're going to click through those highlights. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay. So everyone spent all their money on my Amazon is what I'm reading. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So what video system do you use? I upload it to my YouTube and I do it as like an unlisted video and I share that link. It's so, so simple. So when I upload it to YouTube, it gives you a link. And then in Mojo in the template, there's a video button and all, all you do is plug the link in there and you just slide it over into the template and bam. And what I love about it is when someone uploads your um, actual email, it's a huge screen, a square screen with your face, or I usually create something in Canva. So it's like the first presentation. They can see it's me and I'll have like some kind of subtitle and then the play symbol. Whereas before when I was in Boomtown trying to share the exact same video, it would show a link. They, they had to click the link in order to see the video. And I just felt like that kind of seemed a little like salesy, spammy, like, is this legit? And I feel like it's really nice with Mojo where it shows like my face or whatever it is that I'm showcasing. And it just looks really nice. So it's just in YouTube in, in Mojo. Um, okay, I got a private message that says, uh, do you use a separate email for your weekly email? I use the same email. It's stevie at stevieheim.com and people are opening it because Mojo tells you uh, all the reports of everything of like who opened, who like clicked through it, who unsubscribed and I feel like people are getting it. Um, do you have a way to track who downloads the guides? So I don't. Uh, I'm normal. I'm sending them though. Yeah. Like I'm sending them an email and sometimes if it's a lot at once, like if it's like somebody email or like DM me from Instagram or something like that, like I'll do like a BCC and I'll just send it to a list of them. Yeah. And then you know, just put like, I'm, I'm getting so good at it. Like anytime I get an email address, I immediately, like, even though I'm like, Hey, yeah, I'll email you that form that I said I was going to send you. I'm like going in Mojo ahead of time. And I'm like, I'm getting them on my email list. Like yeah. I am not forgetting. I'm so consistent and they're getting an email from me every single week. Um, and anyone, I feel like anybody that wants on Stevie's email list, DM her on Instagram or send her yeah. an email. Because we're not yeah, going to see this an email. <laughs> and yeah, send her an email because in two minutes when we're off of here, we're not going to have access to this entire group chat. Yeah. Off. So. <laughs> so send me an email because I'm really trying to get better at the DMs though. Like that's a goal of mine. Um, <laughs> How do you do find you your local market stats for a social media post? So um, Holly, yeah, there's a couple of ways that you could do that. this. Uh, what's that? 
I got so many messages of people like, where do I get those stats at? Yeah. So I pull them from our, straight from our MLS. Like you can go on there and there's like, um, we have like this, like there's a whole bunch of bars and it's like expired is black. New listings are green. Uh, canceled are yellow. And like on the bottom, right, it'll say like last seven days. And then it'll say like 24 hours, 30 days. You can change that. And you can also, if you click on um, settings, you can change it to like Tarrant County. Um, you could type in a specific neighborhood. You could type in, um, you know, a whole bunch of different counties. So you could do it that way. I'm telling Holly because she's in my market center. Um, and if you're in the North Texas MLS, that's the way that I do it. Um, I mean, there's a whole bunch of different so, ways. How board. I do it is like totally different. I know that the MLS has those stats because I see them whenever you log in. But our association, which I'm sure every association breaks down yeah, the numbers. Our board, so, yeah. Yeah, every single month. Ours is, uh, if you're in Northeast Florida, it's NEFAR.com. And they, Jacksonville's so huge. So they break up every single area, every single month. They break out all those numbers. It's like 75 pages. So I'm always like every month trying to pull like just basic numbers from that. Because I just feel like if I throw out a shit ton of stats out there, people are just going to be like, whoo. Yeah. But. Well, and it might be a good way like to focus on like different communities, different counties, different yeah. cities new construction versus pre-existing like there's so many different numbers like tailor the numbers to the audience that you're talking to um and then so real quick i want to talk about tiktok videos like for two seconds because yeah. tiktok videos are gold you're so right good now. at it i'm working on being consistent at them and they are paying off so not only am I looking up trending like things, but I'm looking up trending sounds oh. through TikTok. And I'm doing usually like three to four hashtags within my TikTok, um, like the little description. But I'm getting like great engagement from TikTok. But y'all, Instagram Reels, okay? The Instagram Reels, they're trying to compete teach with TikTok. Us, teach us your ways. <laughs> they're they're trying to compete with TikTok. So what I'm doing is recording it on TikTok first because it's so simple to use TikTok. Like I had to watch a couple of YouTube videos to figure out from these 13 year olds like what I was doing. And then once I got it down, I was like, oh girl, here I am. So I post it to TikTok. I save the video. And then if y'all go to Instagram and click on the left, top left corner to post to your story. On the bottom, do you see live story and reels? Okay, click on reels and then go to your gallery and post your TikTok video. So go to reels on the bottom and then click right here on the bottom left-hand corner. It's the box of your gallery. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm teaching you. I promise it will pay off. So then you find the video that you want and you click it. And then you click check and then you click check again. And then I can post it to my Instagram um, story and then I can share it or uh, a post and then I can share it to my story. Y'all, the new buyer that I just got qualified today reached out to me because she found me on that. That's awesome. So Instagram is going to like treat people who test out like the new beta, like the new things that they're doing, whoever adapts first, they're going to reward and they're going to treat them. They're going to put your things on like the explore page or the discover page, the for you page. So oh, take advantage of it now. I just saw um, someone's comment that I can't believe that you get business on uh, TikTok. And there's a realtor here in Northeast Florida yeah. that has gotten two listings from TikTok. I'm going to share with you her handle. Okay, her handle is Jax Real Estate. You guys should look at, she has a bajillion, like literally, I feel like it's every single day she has a video up. Oh my but gosh, I'm going to follow her. Yeah, two listings. I will take it. Love it. I'm trying and, to get better at it. And y'all, like, go follow each other. Like, 
I'm not like creating these trends. Like I'm stealing them from somebody else, right? Like I was like, Amanda, how are you coming up with these? I'm like copying you right now. And I'm like, how did she think of these? <laughs> Listen, I'm not the trendsetter this time, okay? I'm copying these 12 year olds on TikTok. <laughs> I love and I'm just it. relating it to real estate. Yeah. I but it goes off. Cool. Like it's fun. It shows a different like side yeah. of the personality. Like, and again, like, like Stevie said, like people like meet them on their level. Like if they want to talk through voice memos, if they want to DM, if they want to text, like email, whatever, like everybody's on different platforms. Everybody communicates differently. Everybody receives information differently. So you got to be willing to put yourself out there and take some humility. Like, I feel like we, you put things out of your, you got to do things outside of your comfort zone, but that's where the growth happens. And that's where the magic happens. That is where the magic happens. Last tip is if you go to your Instagram settings and you change yourself from a personal or a business account to a creator account, you get one insight. Thank you for that. <laughs> yes. Stevie was like, how do I get music? I was like, let me show you, girl. So yeah. you get music, you get Instagram real music, and you get the um, like analytics, the insights to be able to like track like who's following you? Are they finding you through Facebook? Are they finding you through um, hashtags? Are they finding you through Amanda, uh, the homepage? Can you show us how to do that? <laughs> What's that? Can you show us how to do that real quick? Oh, sure. This is Instagram 101 featuring Stevie and Amanda. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So go to your home screen on Instagram. On the top right hand, click the three dots or the three lines. And then go to settings and then go to account. And then down at the bottom, switch to creator account. Give it 24 hours and you will have music. You guys know when you post a story and like you can click like a poll or you can click like um, add the time or the weather, the music will pop up. You'll notice like Stevie and I within the last like week or two, like every post has a song in it. <laughs> It's because we're like obsessed because now like we can have that music. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I'm like, my life, life has changed now. It just makes the story so much better. Like they're fun. You get to add like a little. It did take, it did take, I think like two days, right? It was like after I came to Florida. Yeah. It was like two days later. I was like, this. She was like. Fun. Yeah, she's like, okay, I'm going to do it. And we're like, wait, where's it at? So it does take a little bit of time, but you just got to be patient. Okay, but. I hope this was helpful. 